So in front of me, I have a lawnmower. Many of us have used these in our own houses many times before. Now we've done a couple of dismantlings to make this video go a little smoother, but what I want to start to show you is a couple of different things. Right in my hand, I have my magnet. Having that magnet is going to allow you to know what's worth going after and what is not worth going after. So let's look real quick. So right off the bat, you have the handle. You know, you put that magnet on there. So you see that this is just going to be steel with a couple of pieces of plastic on it. Now this grass bag, right? This is not going to be something that you're really going to want to include in the scrap. The scrap yard is going to complain with all this fabric. So first and foremost, you're going to want to be able to take this off. Again, there is steel on here, right? A couple of pieces, but you're going to have to take this off. So that gives you one piece of steel. Now, a couple of small pieces of plastic like this are not going to matter. Some scrap yards might give you a little problem for some of these tires. So you're just going to ask once you get familiarized with your scrap yard how clean things actually have to be. Generally, if someone brought this to us, I wouldn't have a problem with three to five percent plastic on it, one or two lawn mowers. I'm not going to really complain. It's not that big of a deal. But the thing that I will complain about is the oil and the gas levels. So when you look here, you really, you want to make sure that all the gasoline is drained from inside of this. Small residue is okay, but try to get as much as you can out of it. One of the big factors, if this little gas kind of catches on fire in the scrapyard pile, that creates a problem and problems are never something that we want to deal with. So right off the bat, we have this cover that we took off. This is all plastic couple of steels nuts in there you're not going to do anything some scrap yards will let you leave that on now here you have an irony piece of aluminum and this is the engine now not only did we have the gasoline we also had the oil so you really want to make sure that you take this off as well and you want to make sure that there's no oil left inside again a couple of drips is just residue and that's not a big deal so let's take that magnet and let's just look at this engine real quick this is steel but this piece right here is aluminum. The engine's aluminum. You have a spark plug. Spark plug is a great item that you can take out and sell to RR Cats. The more of these you have, there's little bits of platinum inside. So sometimes you can get a little money for those. This entire engine has been taken apart, or excuse me, removed. And you can look inside, you can see you got the rotor, right? Which would have the blades on it turning around. Good to have those blades on there, but it, you gotta take those off to be able to get this out, especially if this entire thing is aluminum. Now, once in a while, this cage will be aluminum. This one is steel, but this is gonna be something that makes you more money than the rest of the engine combined and the rest of the lawnmower. When you look at this engine, you know, you got steel all over it, you got dirt, and when aluminum prices are not that high, you're not gonna get a super high price. Sometimes it's not even worth taking this apart. So when you have these lawn mowers, you really want to weigh a couple of things. It's like when you work with a grill. Is it a stainless steel grill? Is it a cast iron grill? Is it a cast aluminum grill? So by knowing what you're dealing with, by having your magnet handy, that's going to allow you to make more money when it comes to lawn mowers. Now lawn mowers are generally not huge money makers because of the contaminated metal. So don't spend too much time stripping this down unless you really like to tinker. If you do like to tinker, then that is something that you can take apart but let's recap some of the really important things number one no oil and gas number two always use your magnet to see if the cage is aluminum and how much of the uh, the lawnmower is aluminum number three you really want to gauge where the prices are and this is where having a nice relationship with your scrapyard and asking them the price on irony aluminum clean light iron dirty light iron, what their grades are will start to familiarize yourself because believe it or not, all scrap yards do have different methods of doing things. So you want to know what they're doing. At my scrap yard, I would only take this if the oil and the gas are drained and we know that the bag is removed because we don't want to deal with too much debris or any garbage like that. So when you're taking lawn mowers apart, those are some of the important things to look for. But really that magnet is going to show, show you where the money is and where the money isn't. Any other questions or comments about this, let us know. Thanks for watching our video. For $2.99 a month, by becoming a member, you can get access to early videos, member-only videos, merchandise discounts from our store, and priority comments that we answer before answering any other scrappers. Click the link below to learn more. Until next time, scrap you later. <laughs>